All right, continuing on past the shopkeeper. We're getting pretty deep into this game now. Almost there, Ashley. Uh, okay, I know where I am. Oh fuck! All right, this is a pretty intense portion of the game. Next. God damn it, bugs. Aren't any regenerators or anything here. Just a whole lot of tough ganados. Oh, see, there's one. Come on, bro. Come on. Get close. Out of the way. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Remember that big fucker being here? Give me a break already. with a rocket launcher. They keep coming. What the fuck? Die. That didn't do it. Ah, of course. Well, he'll be on his way. And there's some stuff around here for me to grab. Okay, I've cleared the area out for the moment, but I think as soon as I open this door, I'm going to be open for a beating. Use their traps against them if I can. Oh, not falling for it. Oh, one of them dead. <laughs> Present for you. Still a few left. <laughs> Drag 
¡Cárgate esto! Oh, somebody blew themselves up. Who's left? Alright, that might be everybody for the moment. But I'm pretty sure we got another, like, flow of enemies to come in. Is this trap just sort of floating in air? <laughs> Good shotgun shells. I mean, in comparison to the old Resident Evil games, this one, like, I'm talking about, like, Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, Code Veronica. This one just throws ammo at you. Of course, it throws a lot more enemies at you, too, but it sort of upsets the balance of what a Resident Evil game used to be. Open one locker, not the other one. Don't bother, Leon. Guarantee you there's nothing in there for you. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I did not mean to do that. There's more. There will always be more. Somebody blew themselves up. Come on, here to try it again, big fella. Was that last? One more out there. No, oh, it's one of them. I do hear one talking, though.
All right, so time to collect my loot. What I wanted to do was feed them through here so I could take them out with that barrel. But it didn't work. And you gotta move this gun. Oh, I thought there might have been something in there. I know if you're quick enough, you can just sort of move that gun around and then trap the enemies on the other side of it so they can't get at you. But I didn't do that. Oh, yeah, here's another one. If you can get up here, you can do this. And I guess is maybe what they are intending for you to do. But once you move this into the way, they can't follow you. You have come, my child. What do you want? I simply wish to share this gift with as many as possible. A humble wish, don't you think? You see, we are all connected through the holy body. And now your flesh and bones, your very thoughts, are already one with us. Bullshit. Why do you reject serenity when you need only accept the sacred gift? Like she did. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the time has come for this lamb to join our covenant. Oh, blessings unto him and the sweet mercy they bring. Exalt, call, and let it be done. <laughs> Looks like it's this way. They're really playing up a lot more into the whole aspect of the parasite, the plaga, inside of his head, inside of his body, starting to exert more and more control over him. And this whole scene, uh, like, I don't, I don't quite think it fits perfectly well. Like, why is he hallucinating? Like, what is the nature of the control that this parasite has over him? Like, on one hand, it seemed to have... I'd mentioned it before about how... It seems as though... The parasite has a kind of... Still you resist, child. has a kind of direct control over their body. And we've seen that happen here, where he freezes Leon's movement so Leon can't even move. Or 
made Ashley take the gun and try shooting at Leon and all that kind of stuff. Now, mentally, they're still aware of themselves and trying to resist, but their bodies are just being controlled. On the other hand, the parasite, I don't know, it, I guess maybe that's the reason for the religious aspect, the sort of cult part of it, because he needs to control their minds as well. So the parasite will control their body and the cult will control their minds. I guess they're less likely to try and resist its influence on them. But since Ashley and Leon don't have the cult aspects, they're still trying to resist. Convenient that this is right here, though. <laughs> you go first. No way. Like I told you, I'm gonna get you home safe. 